Welcome to a couple of monkeys. So last weekend was the Easter weekend. And there is a tradition to hide eggs so children can find them. There's a video game both Aditi and I really enjoy called Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You can find us playing this game on our other channel called Bunkies Gaming. This game has an easter egg hunt of its own. Instead of eggs, you find beings called Koraks. We often find them in suspicious places when we go around the map. Something just doesn't look right. You end up interacting with it and up pops a Korok. Yahahai! So we decided to create a Korok hunt of our own. For that purpose, we decided to make some medallions with Korok faces on them and scatter them all over the public park near us. We have been collecting and creating images from Zelda games for a future project. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Inkscape in order to create SVG files from PNG images. SVG file is what we need for our laser engraver software to read and engrave these images. So I did a quick Google search to find images of cork faces in order to put on these medallions. We wanted to create medallions with all nine faces and Tim started with one of them. After pasting the image, you make sure the image is selected and then you go to Path. Then click on Trace Bitmap. There are various options to choose from in this function. You can create a grayscale or simply just detect the edges. I want to keep the majority of the detail, so I'm going to have it as color with only a few scans that I can select through later. By clicking OK, it traces the image over top of the original image that you can delete later. I right click on the image and ungroup it. Now we can remove all the unwanted layers from this image. After I found the layers that I truly liked, I selected them with the cursor I separated them, I select the face with the most details. I go to the fill and stroke properties and make the outline blue. I go to the fill setting on Inkscape and set it to no fill. The K40 laser engraver program that we have will only read it if it's blue, red, or in the grayscale. I wanted to engrave the eyes deeper. So I changed the color of the eyes by selecting the fill and stroke and setting the fill to black. And now all I had to do is repeat this process for all nine of the Korok faces. Our woodworking channel has been growing steadily and we appreciate your support. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Give us a thumbs up if you like our content. And don't forget to leave a comment. We release content every Thursday at 7 p.m. Ring that bell icon so you get notified. Now we need to go through the process of making the medallion. We started off with a circle. We wrote, you found a Korok and text. We selected both the text and the circle and we went to text put onto path. Now we just adjust the size of the font and place the font around the Korok's face. We turn the inner circle blue so it can be vector engraved and outer circle red so it can be completely cut out from the sheet. We simply copy the letters and the circles for all of the remaining Koroks so we can cut them out in one path. We wanted to engrave our business and YouTube logo on the back of the medallion. We copied the file and saved it under a different name, deleted the Korok faces, and changed the lettering, and inserted our YouTube logo. And now front and back sides of the medallion were ready to cut. We have an affiliate link for Monport Laser where you can get 6% off your purchase of this model right here. Use the link below and use the promo code TIMOTHY6. We started off with the fronts of our medallion using raster engraved setting which basically engraves your grayscale.
Now we use the vector engrave setting. It engraves your stroke settings that are blue. And now using the vector cut setting which cuts along the red lines that your stroke settings create. We cut out the medallions from the sheet. It takes us a couple of passes to do this. Now that the front of the medallions are done and cut out, I'm able to remove the medallions and flip them over and engrave the other side. And this time I only did the raster engrave setting. And now for the funnest part of this entire project, hiding them. My wife and I and our dog Chocolate go on a two mile hike every single day. And we felt that this was a wonderful way to engage with our community. Finding spots for Korak medallions was fun in and of itself. But what was more satisfying was to see all of the medallions gone the next day when we went out for our walk again. We hope we reached our neighboring community and contributed some Easter fun for that evening. I hope you enjoy watching this video and all our other content. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you do.